All right, guys, so this is a shut off valve for the outside water spigot. So I think I'm turning it off. All right, and right here we see it just goes out to the wall. And I am wondering if actually that spigot outside screws onto this pipe if it's threaded. So let's find out. If not, we're going to use a shark bike fitting. All right, let's confirm that we shut off the water. Yeah, should be a little bit. Oh, nothing. All right. That's good. We'll let everything drip out. And while that is happening, let's try to remove... paint stuck in it. All right. Now let's see if this thing unscrews. That's not working. So plan B. All right, so I was hoping that would unscrew, but it doesn't. So let's see how much pipe we have before the 90 degree elbow. Looks only like two inches, almost three inches. And So, time to go to Home Depot. Good. All right, guys. I got a half inch pipe cutter, and there's not much room, but I want to cut this pipe. I want to leave like at least an inch. So let me get this around there. Oops, I need to open it more. Okay. Oops. Start spinning it. Okay. 
I'll turn it more. Okay. It's easier with the bigger tool, but it's hard to fit in here. Okay. Keep torquing it. So I finally cut the pipe. This is, oh, there we go. Got a little bit of water that came out. You know what? Just in case, I'm going to shut off the water supply, the main water supply. There we go. Alright, as you can see, this is loose. Pull it out. Oh, it's soldered. Some of them are threaded pipe. This was soldered, so there's no way we could have gotten this off <coughs> without loosening the solder. All right, let's assemble the new one. All right, from the wall to the cup pipe. Let's see. Looks like two inches, okay? But we also have to account for um, the sleeve of the shark bite, so. Let's figure that out. Okay, this was from the shark bite. So, what it looks like is that the pipe will go in about half an inch. Okay? On both ends. And I bought packs, but I actually have a copper pipe. All right, we're making this three inches long. Okay. What do we, three inches and a quarter. Okay, basically three and a quarter. Here's my pipe deburring tool to get the sharp edges from the inside. I'm not a plumber. I'm a do-it-yourself guy. But I did change the plumbing in my house from the main water supply to three-quarter inch to my bathroom because I have high-flow shower heads, dual shower heads, and I don't. And they're three-quarter inch inlets, and so is the valve. So I didn't want to use half-inch supply. And of course, I used to build additions and I installed things like sinks and stuff like that. Toilets, shower valves. I also know how to solder pipes. Okay. 
Okay. Three inch. Okay, let's get the release tool. Okay, snip that on. And this edge is going to press against this edge. Okay. We can see it in action. Or not. Oh, yeah, you can see it a little bit, huh? So let's see. There we go. Actually, that wasn't too bad. All right. So let's stick this pipe outside. That's not a lot of room. Actually, let me go from outside. All right, moment of truth again. Son of a gun, look. Already weeping. So, it must be this. Wait a minute, why is it weeping? Actually, it's weeping here. That's strange. Damn it, the original connection. I guess from the torquing it got messed up. Shit. Not good. Yep, literally just coming out of this connection. All right, you see this? These, these are actually burn marks. I was gonna try fixing the solder and this insulation caught fire. I grabbed the fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was out of juice. So then I used my hand. First I used my hand to put out. Then I grabbed this and I was just uh, smashing the flame with my hands. And then I had some Fantastic nearby <laughs> and I used that. So not going to use the propane right here. I'm going to have to cut this pipe and just make a whole new connection. So, <laughs> fun times. I don't know if you can see that clearly. But the skin basically melted off my knuckle from putting out the fire. So, yeah. <laughs> don't use propane in a small little cubby. Unless you got some kind of fire mats and a working fire extinguisher, which I thought I had. But I didn't see this or it says recharge. So, yeah. So, I grabbed the fire extinguisher. <laughs> it doesn't even work. Too bad I didn't get out of video. Fun times. All right. I guess I'm going to go to Home Depot. Good. Okay, so let's cut this pipe about halfway. We have plenty of room. No, you know what? I'm going to cut more off. I'm going to cut it right there. Much easier to torque with the pliers. That way it won't take as long. There we go. Yeah. Okay. 
So now we pop this on. and deep in there all righty let's see I have to guess the make here actually first I'm gonna make this this pipe coming out all right we cut this at five and seven eighths they always cut it down, but I think this should be good. So let's get this connected. <clears throat> Make sure it goes in as deep as possible. Okay. So now we have to figure out how much pipe we need between the pipes. Let's try to figure this out. Oh. I'm gonna try to hold it straight, somewhere like that. Looks like I'm gonna do three and seven eighths. Could always make it smaller, but I think three seven eighths is a good size. Or a smidge under three and seven eighths, like a sixteenth maybe. So I'm pretty much right there. So now let's see which one should we do first? I think we should put it in here first. Let's see if I tilt that down. Okay, it's nice and deep. Let's see what we got here. Oh crap, I probably should have put it in there first. Okay, we took it out. So now let's put this in. that in nice and we look we look like we're lined up we'll just have to see from outside okay we look lined up pretty good now we'll go outside and try to put the spigot on and see what happens okay so you really only want to be sticking out like a quarter, I mean three quarters of an inch. I'm going to try to eyeball it. All right, we made a marking right here. We have a little bit of room. And honestly, I guess it's better to make the pipe bigger and smaller. <laughs> Do I have enough room to spin this thing? That's the question. Oh boy, how many pliers? So now we deburr it. We're going to secure it with screws and then push from the inside to lock it in.
close this. All right, let's go inside. Okay, so let's try to push it. Okay, I heard that lock. All right, guys. I'm gonna turn on the water connection now. Okay, it's turned on all the way. Okay. Everything's pressurized. Looks solid. So it looks good. We got a nice, perfect 90 degree turn. It's connected and it's pressurized and there are no drips. So we look like we're golden. Let's connect the holes outside and see. All right, now let's see if there's any leaks. Nice. Oh, it's off, okay. fixed all right guys thanks for watching the video if you liked it go ahead and click like if you're not a subscriber yet go ahead and subscribe I got over 250 videos on my channel most of them are how-to videos that are very useful and I got some awesome content coming soon take care and I'll catch you on the next one